what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right guys i have a latest uh, update to share with you still on the crisis what is going on in labor party of course uh, you remember labor party led by alex oti had extended a stakeholders uh, meeting a few days ago uh, that appointed uh, a caretaker committee chairman to run the affairs of the party pending when there will be uh, all-inclusive uh, convention from the world level to the national level. Of course, just as you have seen on your screen, uh, a lot of uh, stakeholders, prominent Labour Party stakeholders, Peter B was also there. And then after that uh, extended stakeholders meeting, Julio Zabure, I updated you guys on that, came out to uh, give uh, a press conference over what happened in that uh, extended uh, stakeholders meeting. All right, the latest update I have for you is that the Labour Party led by Julius Abure has said that Peter Obi, Governor Alex Otu, Oti, and uh, Dati Babamed were the one responsible for the crisis first in Labour Party. Can you guys see? Uh, uh, the allegation given to Peter B, Peter B that is even trying to see how to bring Labour Party together. You understand? They are now, because of that extended stakeholders meeting, they are now the one accusing Peter B, uh, Ahmed Dati, and Alex Oti of being responsible for the crisis. People that are looking for a way to bring Labour Party back to shape. They are now the people that are responsible for the crisis in Labour Party. All right, so the deputy national chairman of the party, under uh, Julius Abure, Mr. Ayo Olurefemi, said it was regrettable that Peter Obi, Alex Oti, Dati, and uh, Nenadi Usman, whom they accommodated, have turned to destabilize the party. <laughs> that was from... Uh, Olure Femi. Okay, according to Olure Femi, that the stakeholders meeting held in Abia State that appointed Nenari as national caretaker chairman of the party cannot stand because it was illegal. He added that Nenari is not a registered member of the party in our own world. Now, the stakeholders meeting was illegal, but the convention Abure organized. You understand that brought in some loyalists, some supporters, people here and there. Peter B was not even there. Prominent stakeholders was not even there in that convention that brought back Julius Zabura as the national chairman. That one was not illegal. Though. You understand? So when these guys sometimes talk about issues of political party, it is as if as in there is something that is going on in this political party affairs that these guys feel they cannot live without it. I mean, how do you expect being in the midst of people that do not want you? The party leader that is Peter B do not want you. The running man of Peter B, the only governor, Labour Party governor, even the uh, Lagos State uh, Labour Party. Uh, candidate, all of them, those are stakeholders. They were there in this extended stakeholders meeting, and none of them wanted you. They had to give someone else the affairs of the party to take care of. And now you are coming out to say the meeting was illegal. But the convention Julius Zabure organized some time ago was not illegal for you guys to see he broke hypocrisy when we are talking about hypocrisy let us forget about political party when we are talking about hypocrisy this is a typical example of it so during an interview with arise tv uh, that was yesterday thursday olura femi said what you saw in that video is an oppression of people who love playing to the gallery these are people we accommodated they were out there in the sun, in the rain. We accommodated them just a few years ago. Some of them are not even yet registered members. Now, you look at the person that is saying uh, they accommodated somebody like Peter Obi. Labour Party that didn't have any, 
anybody in National Assembly that uh, couldn't produce senator for, I don't know if it is up to 18 years or 15 years, Labour Party. But courtesy of Peter will be the obedient movement. Labour Party now have House of Assembly member. They have a House of a Rep member. Labour Party now have senator, if not senators. Yeah, yeah Ireti Kingibe is um, under Labour Party. Courtesy of Peter will be obedient movement. And these are the people you are saying that the stakeholders meeting they organized was illegal. That you accommodated them. They were in the sun. They were in the rain. But you guys accommodated them. They are the one that is destabilizing the Labour Party. All these years, the Labour Party couldn't produce a single senator. You understand? You didn't have anybody that destabilized the party. You didn't have anybody to accommodate but when Peter Obi and Ahmed Dati came into the, the picture, the courtesy of Peter Obi, let us, tell, let us tell ourselves the truth the way it is. Courtesy of Peter Obi, nobody will deny that. Who would have think that Labour Party will have House of Rep member in 2023 election? Who would have thought that Labour Party will produce a senator or senators? Who would have thought that Labour Party will produce governor when last in the history of Nigerian politics have that ever happened? It has not. Because when people came out, they have this mindset as you are going out, vote Mama, Papa, Pekin. So anywhere they saw a Mama, Papa, Pekin. Remember the election was a simultaneous presidential and national assembly. It was the same day. So everybody that everybody that wanted Peter be anywhere, nobody wants to know if it is House of Red. Nobody wants to know if it is a National Assembly. Anywhere they see Papa, Mama Piquet, that was where they voted. Because of courtesy of obedient movement, Labour Party was has, has been able to produce somebody in the uh, Green Chamber. And now someone somewhere, Olu Femi, now say these are the people that were under the sun, uh, these are the people that were under the rain uh, that Labour Party accommodated, accommodated them. What if Peter B didn't come into picture? I mean, that he didn't come into picture. Would Labour Party produce a senator? Let us ask ourselves, let us tell ourselves the truth. Peter B is the leader of that party, he had the right to call for a extended uh, uh, stakeholders meeting. Whether Abure attended or not, if I were to be Abure, I would have looked for my way honorably rather than being disgraced out of office. Because from what we are seeing, Abure have now turned to be Lamiria Papa. When people were accusing Lamiria Papa of the one being responsible, uh, the one that wants to destabilize the party, little did we even know that Lamiria Papa was fighting a just cause. Little did we know that Julius Abre himself was the one or is the one that is responsible. As if he is, I, I believe why they are doing like that, they have gotten an info or hint that uh, is being used. This is politics for you. Money speak. They can offer him money. Destabilize the party so that it will be a walkover for us. Tell me he will. He was being accused by the treasurer. He was being accused of siphoning the election money only for him to suspend that lady. You understand? So now they are now accusing Peter B, Alex Oti, and Ahmed uh, Dati, and Nenadi, that they are the one. They were, they were under the sun and the rain. And now you accommodated them. They are the one that is destabilizing the Labour Party. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys in another update.